Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to remove duplicates from a string in CC++. So let's jump right into Visual Studio. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. Click on File, New Project. Make sure you have 132 and 132 console application selected. Let's call this application remove duplicates from string. Click OK. OK, we're not going to make any changes, so just click Finish. All right, so let's assume we have a string like this, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. So this is our input string. The goal of this exercise is to see how we can get rid of any duplicates in here. Let's assume also F is a duplicate. This was my input, then I should be able to give the user back only the non-duplicate characters, A, B, C, D, E, F, Z. That should be the output. We're going to write a function called remove duplicates. It takes in a char pointer, B string. And ideally, what we want to do here is return to the caller the new length of the string after removing all the duplicates. So the first thing we always do is check for invalid input parameters. So if the string was empty or null, Basically, we can't do anything. So let's say if not pister or not contents of pister, in that case, we return zero. All right, so the idea I'm going to use here is I'm going to use a count array so that I count each character. And if the character count is more than one, we're not going to include it in the output string. So this is called bucketing or hashing. We're going to use the character itself as an index into a bucket that keeps the count. So let's say... We have a count of 256, initialize this to 0, and it's an integer count, so we're going to count each character. So let's do that. The same time as we're counting, if this is the first time we encounter this character, we simply include it in the output string. We're also going to do this in place, so we're not going to use a second buffer, we're just going to do it in the same buffer. So let's see how we can do that. We're going to need to define two variables here, current equals zero, and then next is also zero. And then a while loop that says while easter of current is not the null character, do it this way. Then we have a while loop, and then eventually we're going to say plus plus current. So this is going to be a loop that walks over all the elements in the string. All right, so what we do next is as following. We say if the plus plus count of the string element that we're currently at, this is one, what do we do? Okay, so basically what we're doing here is we're doing two things at the same time. We're actually incrementing the count at the location of this character and also checking if that increment is equal to one. So basically the first time we encounter this character. If that's the case, what we do here is basically included in the output string. So since we're doing in place, we're gonna say Easter of next plus plus equals pister of current. Finally, after we're done with the while loop, we need to null terminate this. So we say p of next equals null character. So this way we null terminate the string. And then we can return to the caller the next, which is the new length. Let's try out some examples here. str equals say a, b, c. Then let's repeat the c for example. Then let's say remove duplicates string print out the result. So let's give this a try. Control F5 to compile and run. Yes. As you can see now, the result is ABC. So there is no duplicates in the output. Let's try ZZZZ here, for example, just for testing some other value. Yes. You can see now it's also ZABC. So unsigned integer was the suggested value in the post on my YouTube channel. So let's give this a try as well. Control F5. Yes. And now, as you can see, it says unsigned TR. I hope this was clear. Please leave me a comment if you have any comments or any questions. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and see you in future videos. Thank you for watching.